What's going on YouTube? Trailer Life here one more time guys. I gotta grab a trailer out this door right here and go around the corner and get a live load. So let's grab this boy real quick. Hope nothing wrong with it. That driver coming out right there. So I'm gonna try to nab this one, go around the corner. And actually I'm gonna go if I, Cause where I'm going, if I come in from this one, I'm at the blind side. Like I said, the video ain't about this, guys. So I just want to show this some aesthetics to the video. Why not? Try to nab my box right quick. You said it's empty back there, so. There you go. Grab this boy right quick. Go around the corners of the dock. I think it was a truck in there. I drove past that to come here, so might be a truck in the dock over there. I'm not sure. But either way I go, I gotta try to get about this situation, man. Gotta come down here twice, so we'll see how this go. 1020's back there. Really don't like them 1020s, man. Got one empty, I'm gonna leave the doors open. But I'm literally I'm gonna leave the doors open guys because I'm literally going right around the corner. That's locked. What that arm, what an arm at? Make sure you no know, holes, you no know, mean no flat tires, man, you know. Just mess around with these 1020s. And I gotta make sure that works, because they want me to slide my tanners over there. Flats. Alright. Alright, make sure no oh no uh flesh down here. Man, I ain't gonna say nothing about that. About that right there. Let me let him go. Let me let him ride out. Let him go, lift this up, go around the corner, man. Hopefully by the time I get over there, drive is going off the dock and nobody else pulled up because this place closed at a certain time, man. And you gotta make sure I get over there. And I gotta jack this all the way up because it's one of them docks where, I might show me backing in over there, guys, because it's one of them docks where this ain't all the way up. It'll catch the ground backing in because it would just slide the tennis all the way to the back. You know, that increases the chances of these things Scraping the ground on the slanted dock. And I'm kind of glad he gone now, so I now I can just make a... I can make a right turn out of here. And just go this way and come around that same corner. If I came in on the sight side, I will come on the blind side, but that dock kind of tight. To get in. Make sure everything hooked up good here. I got a good, a good snag, you know what I'm talking about? I got eyeballs on it, but I want to make sure I do a tub test. All right, let's go. All right, all right. That wasn't too shabby. Let's get around this corner, man, see what's going on around here, you know what I'm talking about? I'm leaving one of the warehouses going to the other warehouse which is right around the corner But this this warehouse sits on the main street. So I got to back off the street with cars coming The one over here is off the main street, too But it's not as much traffic because it's not a man. It's not like a real busy super street busy, busy, super busy street All right, cool. I don't see his truck. I don't see truck that guys. I'll be hooking up. Oh, man. Hold on. I think the other guy in the way though Oh, his truck. He hooked it back up. I think this guy going in first though Man, been in this corner right here. I gotta pull up and back back. Cause I know he go, he about to go in. And then he coming in. This guy right here going in. The dock I'm backing into right there. Something just bag up right here on the street. And I get the point of the video, guys. Good aesthetics to the video. Why not? Alright guys, so he pulling out. He's sliding his tandems. 
As a matter of fact, I'm finna close my doors, guys. This dock right here known for taking doors. You know what that means? That means it's one of them docks where you got a back in with your doors closed. Open them up when you get inside, that way you don't tear them up because it's one of them tight docks, guys. So let me close these doors right quick. I should have looked in here anyway. I should have looked in here anyway to make sure the trailer was good. But what I could do, I could close one door. I could close one door, but I'm gonna close both. And I'm gonna open them up. On the inside. Yo, watch out for them docks that take doors, man. They known for taking doors. See, he's about to come out. Make sure the car's coming. Make sure the car's coming. Go ahead and uh, close the door real quick. It's a swift coming. I don't know if he's coming this way. But he might think I'm leaving because I'm closing my doors. But you dead wrong. You dead wrong, driver. Oh, no, you going. That ain't swift. That's a Penske. Let's go. Can't go. Just going, driver. Come on. Come on, driver. Get about that damn driver. Why are you waiting for somebody to pass me up? Like I say, man, it's one of those streets, guys, where you gotta... I'm blocking up a lane right now because there's nowhere to park on here. I think this guy's gonna make a left turn. Unless you got, unless you got the, you know, the wowsers to make a right. Let me see, let me back up. Just in case he decides he want to come this way. You know what? Make sure the car's behind me. Oh, no, he going... He's going that way. All right, cool. All right, let's go. Let's go, guys. I'm gonna close that door, man. But the eyes are coming. I gotta go that way. Is it okay to back here? Yeah? Okay. All right. Back in here, guys. See, it's the street right here. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's get it. I need all this room, man. I need all that room there, man. All right. Here we go. Got to go in that door over there. Right over there, guys. It's overturned a little bit, over swing it. So I'll hit that car though, you know what I'm talking about? <sighs> Trade a lane hard than a mother clucker. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. <sighs> My dry tire is stuck, guys. Hold on. I forgot about that. I gotta hurry up and get over the little hump. Without tearing up my truck. There we go. And trying to tear up the door. There we go. Alright. Hold on. Hold on. You gotta clear your mirrors too, man, when they kind of dusty, but you can't see a thing. Hot dog. Close, but I don't want to tear nothing up, you know what I'm saying? It's a little close. That's a little closer than I like. Hold on. It's a little closer than I want. Tight dock, man. Tight dock. That's why I ain't, that's why I ain't uh leave my doors open, guys. I didn't want to tear nothing up. I'm watching the top too, because it's one of them docks where it slants down. Easy peasy, man. If you hit something, hit it slow versus going fast. Easy peasy. Usually that other dock door is open, but they got it closed. So I'm, I'm going in really literally blind right now on the sight side. So, I don't care who in a hurry, guys. Take your time, man. If an accident happened, you don't want to sit there with the police, not nobody else. All right. 
it like it's it like it's going in pretty easy. Let me see. You can hardly see nothing on the side of that sun. There's sun in the mirror. Might as well pull this one right here too. If it if it worked. Ain't working, I gotta uh, go straight back, straighten out the wheel, straighten up, go back a little bit so my tires clear that line. You guys might have better see it on the camera. So I gotta be real careful because I can't pull forward too much, I got the door open now. So, I can't see nothing on the other side, man. The dust on that mirror, man, plus the sun. All the guys this side right here I can see, so I'm gonna work this side. And I'll uh, see what I can do with this side and give me a little more room to pull up a little bit. See them a little, see a little better, man. Okay, I can see that side a little bit better now. I'm out the sun. All right, so now, I ain't want this video to be about this guy, but you know, skip it, why not? it over a little bit, that's all I'm doing. Watching that door, walking both doors. And watch this heel right here too, so I don't get my drive tie stuck on this heel. And I really got a pickle, you know? Just walking it over. You turn the light on back there so I can see a little bit. I can't see Jack Diggly squat. You know what guys, let me go on, let me go on and focus on this guy's getting this dough because he's back here looking at me now. So I gotta slide these tandems and uh see you guys in a minute. You guys get the drift. Take your time, man. No rush, man. Okay, who in a hurry? Hi right, YouTube, so I'm back guys. Uh a lot happened since the last time you guys saw me. I was back in that dock, but anyway. I left, came back, traders will be ready at one location, it ain't ready. I supposed to go take the same trader to the other location. The other location closed earlier than this location right here, so it's, a, it's a, I don't know, it's getting a little sticky. It's getting a little hairy. But, like I was saying, guys, is this. The purpose of this video, I know I wait to the end, guys, because I want to get some aesthetics to the video. In case you guys don't drive, you kind of see what's going on, how what drivers deal with out here. I'm just a real yard runner. I deal with regular stuff like everybody else, you know what I'm talking about? I ain't back. But anyway, dispatchers, guys. My thing is with dispatchers, guys, is this. A dispatcher can make or break a company's uh, driver retainment rate, bigger, higher or lower, guys. Over the years I've been out here, I can say, I can honestly say I've had, I count on one hand how many, how many decent dispatchers that I've had. And a lot of times, the dispatchers, the ones that know what they doing, a driver, a driver could appreciate a decent dispatcher who know what they doing. Preferably a driver, a dispatcher who's, who's been a driver before, so they understand what drivers deal with. Instead of looking on the map, talking about, it's only right here on the map, and that thing is like 400 miles away. You know what I'm talking about? Now, shout out to all the good dispatchers out there who know, who try to make it happen, and try to make it work. But I've, I'm gonna share a story, guys. I was with one company, I ain't gonna say on here. They had a major account, which name I'm not gonna say on here. Cause some people, they may, they may, they may know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So I don't wanna, I ain't putting people on blast, man. People will figure it out. You get out here long enough, you'll figure it out, right? So anyway, I was with this one company, and I noticed I kept getting some of the craziest work. Like, I get some work, guys, that be like, it be hard work. I mean, like, hard work. Like, you go one place, you pick up a load, drop it off somewhere, right? Fair enough. Whether it's alive, whether it's a, a whatever. Drop a hook or whatever. Now, you take it to a real yard, the trailer's left, or it's empty or loaded. Then instead of getting a load out that same real yard, hold on, let me make sure I ain't in this guy way. Which I don't think I'm in his way, but let me back up. Got this guy way. This guy, this guy putting in work. He on a mission. This guy putting in work. Anyway, I let that ride while he's backing in, guys. Why not? There's some aesthetics to the video. 
so anyway, the workout I was getting, guys, was like way was out of control, man. And it take me like 12 to 14 hours to do because of the dispatching. Dispatching was horrible, right? And I'm like, man, um, when you're a yes man, you know, people don't too much, they don't too much trip on you, man. Until you get your settlements, you're like, man, this yes stuff ain't working because my settlements ain't matching the work I'm doing, right? I feel like, my, I did one video, I feel like I was being robbed. Like, man, where, where my money at, man? Well, this is the work you did, you know, blah, blah, woo, woo, right? So like, this is the work you did, blah, blah, woo, woo. I'm like, man, okay, this ain't gonna work. We gotta switch some stuff up, right? And so you going back and forth with dispatcher, when you need the yes man no more, you the person that say, you actually understand your job, you know what you want, you know how to get out here and get it. I'm the type of driver, guys, that where, just give me my work and leave me alone. As long as it makes sense, just leave me alone. Don't hound me all day, don't be micromanage me, don't do none of that stuff. If I got a problem, I'll call you, right? But some dispatchers, I don't know, man. They, like I said, they can make or break a company's driver retainment rate, man. Make it lower or higher. But I've had, I have situations where I'll be in the office and I'll be in there trying to negotiate the little one, two lows I had, which caught, which caused me a lot of flack. I told you like a low here, drive 30 minutes away or 40 minutes away to another rail yard to get a load. Hopefully it's there. Hopefully it's work, it's ready to go. Then drive somewhere else to a customer. And then go to the customer, go for that customer back to another real yard somewhere else. And then come on back. You know, by all that work you're doing, depends on how much they pay, guys. Sometimes it don't add up, man, because your time is getting killed in, in a commute, right? So, I'm like, man, this something something going to work. This ain't working, right? So, you, then you try to tell some dispatchers that. Now, I don't say all dispatchers, guys. If you're a good dispatcher out there, I know some dispatchers watch this channel. If you good, then cool beans, man. But if you if you one of them guys, man, who just... Stuck in your ways, man. Get out that man, cause the driver's nightmare is a bad dispatcher. I'll tell you that, cause it, it can make his day a lot stressful. I tell you, it's equivalent to this. Some of the work I was doing at that one company I was with, it take me 12 to 14 hours to do. Right? I talked to another guy that was with the same company doing better work or sweeter work or more made more sense work. That means they have load in, load out. If you know what that is? I'll explain that at a later date. They're going one rail yard, drop something off, get something out the rail yard, coming back out, right? As long as nothing's wrong with the box, nothing like that, then they can save a lot of time versus going in the rail yard, drop that box off, leave that rail yard, bobtail somewhere else, go in that rail yard to get something else, probably empty, then go to a customer, get, drop a hook, get a load to come back versus the one that pay more when you take a load in, load out, take the load to the customer, drop the hook, load in, load out at the customer, back to a rail yard, load in, load out. It just make more sense because lows pay more. When you do this type of business, guys, lows pay more in most cases than empties. Kind of found out I had some tough work. I had some real hard work. And you like I said, when you new with a company, you don't know the runs too good. You don't know what's not so good. Not you know you don't know this stuff. You learning as you go. And I talked to the, the a driver that came in the office. The guy, guys, let's check this out. I was in the office negotiating my little one or two lows for the day. Like, hey man, this guy made some more sense. You know. I'm literally in there negotiating with dispatcher. Hey, make this make sense, right? A guy coming off his kick over a garbage can, right? I'm like, what's wrong with this dude? You know, because it's weird, man. It's weird. Anyway, kind of found out this dude was getting like, this driver was getting like six loads a day, guys. I was like, I didn't even know that was even possible. You know what I'm saying? I, from the work I was getting and the work I was seeing, I didn't know that was even possible. So anyway, this dude was uptight. This driver was uptight because... He only got four loads for that day versus the six because I don't know whatever reason it was, right? And I ain't found it out while I was in the office. I found it out a little bit later on, like why the guy and he ain't coming there talking. He came over kicking over garbage cans. I'm in there trying to negotiate my little one and two loads, trying to get a third load out the day. This dude tripping over not getting six loads. That's just what I'm saying, guys. Dispatchers, man. Dispatchers, like, and that wasn't even, that wasn't. Even, I'm pretty sure that wasn't even dispatcher's fault, but. You got the favorite five. I did a video kind of touching on the favorite five, guys. That could make or break a, a driver staying long or not, man, or leaving because I'm going to share this last story, guys, because this video been long enough as it is. But dispatchers, man, make sense with your drivers, man. You'll hold them a lot, a lot longer. But anyway, this is the last story, guys. This is how, this how important a dispatcher is to a driver retention rate, right? I was at one company. I ain't going to stay on here. I, they had a major account, like I said earlier, but I ain't gonna say it on here. The dispatcher, the dispatcher had was so verified out that they had their own personal preference, a handful of drivers they want to do certain work, right? 
And so I'm like, okay, that's fine. Do what you do, whatever. You know, just make my work make some sense. Just give me the work that makes sense. To make, I'm out here to make my money for the day and get home. It ain't personal. You no, know, that's how I feel. But anyway, it's personal with some people, but that's another story. So, this dispatcher lost a major account for the company trying to protect the loads for the favorite five drivers. The favorite five drivers couldn't cover the loads, could keep up with the loads, because they wanted them to drive to run the loads so good, so they pay well. And they, that's their boys, you know what I'm saying? This, this, this is their boys right here running them loads. And it's so much work, they can't, cut, they can't possibly cover all the freight. But the dispatcher was trying to make sure that their favorite fives ain't good, and everybody else pretty much, hey, get, get down how you live, right? So I'm like, you're willing to lose a major contract because you're trying to protect your boys or your drivers, your favorite drivers. And this is a dispatcher, guys. And like I say, sometimes it don't even come from the top. Sometimes it just stops at the, it stops at the middle management or lower management or dispatchers. It stops there. Sometimes. And like I say, in this business, man, it's just, you gotta, you gotta understand what business you in. I did a video and I can't harp on it enough, guys. You gotta understand what you're doing, man. Once you understand how dispatching go, I had another dispatch, man. I, I can look at the dispatch. I can look at it. If I know what I'm doing, I can look at it. Sometimes it just causes me stress just looking at it. Like, nope, I ain't doing that. So it's too much stress because I already know the time of day, the location, where it's going. I'm like, I'm like, this work don't have to be this hard, man. It don't have to be this hard. Back on back. But anyway, guys, I will go into a video more depth in, in depth on this. Um, probably a later date, man. But dispatchers, man, if you out there doing the best you can do, man, cool beings to you, man. And you actually actually make some sense out of your out of your work to retain the drivers more. Keep the keep doing what you do. But those of you out there who dispatch and who think you know what you're doing, you know you don't know what you're doing, and the drivers know you don't know what you're doing, talk to the drivers, man. Nah, nah guys, mind you, I'm talking about the, the the fare across the table, not the favorite fives, not none of them. Talk to a regular driver who won't, all he want to do or she want to do is get out there, get their job done, and get home. That's it. It ain't personal. They just want to get it done and get home. Talk to them and hey, hey, man, okay, I got this right here. How do you want to run this or how do you just make sense for you to do it? If possible. Now sometimes the times won't line up. You know, guys, you already know how this go. But communication, man. Driver and dispatch need to communicate a lot better. You'll get a lot more done versus I'm on some tough Tony. You finna do what I say. All you gonna do is see a bunch of drivers leaving, like fleeing from the company because, and a company could be a decent company, but the way that dispatching is set up, it's like, nah. It's causing the driver too much stress, so he'll bail out, or she'll bail out. Ask me how I know, and I will tell you, because dispatching is key. It's a crucible, man. But anyway, guys, I got to go knock on this trailer real quick and see if I can dispatch myself with this. <laughs> anyway, I, YouTube, hope this video is helpful. Give you a little understanding of what's going on, sure. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.